Venice AI has just released video generation and it is a total game changer. Not just because you can choose from the highest quality open source and corporate models out there, but also because your video generations are either anonymized or fully private. Venice's AI video generation follows the same architecture as the rest of its services, where your prompt or the chat is never stored on a server, it's only stored on your browser. Now here in the Venice model menu, you can now see we have image to video and text to video tabs. Some of these models do audio, some of them do not. You'll see the WAN2 open source models as well as Ovi, which is based on WAN. These are uncensored. If you're looking for uncensored video generation, these models are gonna be what you'll want to use. Meanwhile, you'll also see Kling 2.5, Veo 3.1 by Google, and Sora 2 by OpenAI. You can find more information about all the models on the Venice AI blog. I will break down the new Venice credit system later in this video. For now, just know that as soon as you've selected your model and adjusted your settings, you will see how many credits this generation will cost you. Okay, so let's play around with some of these models here. I'm gonna start with WAN 2.5 preview here. This is an audio model. We're going to use image to video and it is anonymized, which means it will not be private, but it is anonymized. So I'll drag my image in here, and this image is basically an anime style picture of someone painting a castle. So my prompt will say, camera circles around the skilled painter to showcase a breathtaking lush landscape of majestic mountains and serene rivers alongside the imposing ancient castle. So really just an establishment shot here. We'll check out the settings. We can change our resolution here if we want to 1080p, pretty cool. And the duration, I'll change that to 10 seconds for this one and I do not need more than one variant. This will use 110 credits, and I'll use the AI enhancement here just in case it can add some details that will make this video look better. Snow-capped mountains, great. So let's take a look at what WAN 2.5 is going to generate. Okay, let's take a look. Got some nice little cinematic parallax effect here. Some music comes in on theme. So. If we wanted, there's a really cool feature here. I can copy the last frame and continue it so it can keep this shot going. I'm not going to do that for now because I want to try out another model here. So I'm going to change now to OV, which is supposed to go a little faster. I have doing the cuts in this video, but you'll also see it's a lot cheaper at 22 credits. We don't have many settings here beyond just changing the variant. And I'm going to upload my photo here of just a Renaissance era looking library that appears to be in Venice with the gondolas back there. We'll say camera dollies up towards the river outside as the gondolas, gondolas float closer. We'll use the AI enhancement here and let's take a look. Now, while that's generating, I just want to compare that. This last video took 220 seconds. It also cost 110 credits. So by comparison, this is costing us 22 credits. And let's see how long it takes. 41 seconds. Okay. Nice. Wow. Even starts bringing up more detail in the walls here, the plants draping down the sides. Now I want to show you two quick pro tips here to get high quality video generations. The first is maybe you want to generate an image first. So if I have a detailed prompt for an image, I can generate that using one of Venice's high quality image generation models. And I can take the one I like most and click this create video button. This will now change your model to an image to video model. And you can now add a prompt here. But we want to make sure we have a really good and detailed prompt. So before I send that off, I'm going to save the image and I'm going to upload it to a new chat using Venice Large. In here, I will say I want to animate this image. So help me generate a prompt. I want the double doors to close as the camera dollies forward. So I've added the image so Venice Large and its vision capabilities can see it. And I'll say, I want to animate this image. So help me generate a detailed prompt for a video generation. I want the double doors to close as the camera dollies forward. Create a one to two paragraph prompt. So now when I do choose to create a video, I can paste this detailed prompt to achieve better results. 
Let's use VAO3 full quality for this one. You'll see it's automatically 8 seconds and 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and it's going to use 352 credits. So that's like almost 65 seconds, not bad. Whoa, so we have double double doors here. But overall, really smooth, really detailed. So just remember to keep playing around with your prompts. You might not always get it right on your first go. So next up, in a new chat window, let's try out Kling 2.5 Turbo Pro. Now you can see right away, we've got 39 credits here. We can change the duration to 10 seconds if we want. I'll do that. And we see it now goes to 77 credits. And I'm actually going to try text to video for this one. 10 seconds. And I will change that to 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Now, I have a pretty detailed shot here we're going to play around with and see what Kling creates. We've got a shallow depth of field specified here. It's an extreme close-up dolly shot of a mortar grinding lapis lazuli into an ink, basically. Shallow depth of field, emphasizing textured hands and stone grain. Sunlight creeps across a Florentine workshop workbench over 10 seconds during golden hour, revealing scattered dried herbs and parchment pigment recipes. Chiaroscuro lighting transitions to candlelit close-up of the artisan's weathered face as dusk falls. Practical candle flicker illuminating linen sleeves. 24 millimeter anamorphic lens, 24 frames per second kodak vision 3 500t film grain now this is so detailed because these models do respond to this kind of filmmaking terminology so let's see what Kling comes up with here and we can even compare this side by side with veo 3.1 and we'll use we'll use veo 3.1 fast here our settings allow us to change the duration we have eight seconds as the highest option here we'll stick with 16 by 9 we'll stick at 720 and yes let's give it audio because cling does not have audio so let's send that in there and so as soon as that is done we'll compare the veo 3.1 fast to cling 2.5 turbo pro so we'll watch this one first and I can already tell it actually put this Kodak Vision 3 film grain all around the shot, which is kind of fun. And that's pretty much exactly what we wanted here. The lighting transitions to a candlelit close-up of the artisan's weathered face. I just want to watch this one more time. We've got some good sound effects in there in sync with the video. Cool. Let's check on Kling. Still going. There it is. So that took 293 seconds, while Veo 3.1 Fast took only 105 seconds. So Kling Turbo Pro, let's take a look. Beautiful shot. Wow, and so realistic. That is a weathered face. Wow, so we don't get the candlelight here or the flicker, but wow, what a beautiful shot. Definitely some power in there and the humanity we see in his face despite this being AI generated. <laughs> All right, I'll, st I'll start a new chat now. I've got another prompt here, which will do text to video again, and I'm gonna try with Sora 2. This is a tracking shot following charcoal across parchment as an apprentice sketches a Roman robed model in a Roman courtyard. This high angle wide shot establishes geometric drafting tools and marble busts cutting to dappled sunlight POV through olive branches. Wow. Time lapse clouds shift light over terracotta herb pots while off screen mason chisels echo. Shot on ARRI Alexa Mini LF, natural light only, 47 millimeters vintage lens. Okay, let's see how Sora 2 Pro does with that. Now, before I shoot this off, let's just take a look at our settings for Sora 2 Pro. We can go all the way up to 12 seconds. You'll see it'll take our 264 credit price all the way up to 396 credits. Similarly, if we change the resolution to 1080p, it will take it to 444 credits. So we'll keep that there for now. We do not need vertical. Uh, we could try it with vertical. Maybe we'll try a second version with vertical after this one. So we'll send that off. All right, here we go. Generated in 315 seconds. Let's take a look at their, our tracking shot. Wow. So you can see here, it isn't just one shot. It is a scene.
Now, while that last one was generating, I put the same prompt in to Sora 2 Pro to see what it would look like vertically. Wow. And I quite like that one more. So I think this one is actually perfect to extend. So we'll copy the last frame and continue here with Sora 2 Pro. We want to make sure that that's still at image to video because we're using an image here, the last frame from that video. Now we want to make sure the context continues forward as we describe this video. So I'm going to copy this here and I'm actually going to start a new conversation. Copy this and ask just Venice Small to make a new prompt to continue the scene. Help me generate a new video generation prompt to continue this scene in the same Renaissance era style. And that way we can catch the same details so the model continues the same style. We don't want to lose that. Okay, so pretty detailed here. Let's take a look at what happens. I'm gonna click this last frame button. We'll make sure we're image to video, Sora 2 Pro. We'll paste all that in. We'll make sure we're in 916, 720p. And let's see what happens. Okay, so the extended shot is finished, but before we watch that, let's press play on the first one and see how they line up. And here's the second one. The line must breathe, not just carve. The light is your guide, not the tool. Yes, master. Wow, beautiful. You see, we got the, our focus shift here. We got our real life characters. And even in our prompt, it said the line must breathe, not just carve. So we're on our way to generating our own series here. <laughs> and you can do that too with Venice AI now. Now, hopefully that's given you a nice taste of the image generation. Now let's briefly run through how the new Venice credit system works. Your Venice account will now show the number of credits you have based on your DM balance, your USD balance, and any Venice credits you may have purchased in your account. One US dollar is worth 100 Venice credits and one DM is worth 100 Venice credits per day. And in the Venice AI interface, you will see before you generate your video, how many credits your prompt will use. You will notice that the open source models use less credits than the corporate closed source models, with Sora 2 being the most expensive. So if you haven't yet, hop on over to Venice AI and start generating some videos, have some fun, and let us know what you're working on in the Venice AI Discord. We would love to see your projects. See you there. Enjoy.